And we have one of the all-time champs with us now. He has captured three of the world top titles, Mr. Universe, Mr. World, and in 1983, Mr. Olympia. Here is Samir Bonal. Samir. Come on down. The first thing we're going to do with uh, Sam is to go into a little posing exhibition, and then I will talk with him. It's nice to have you here. Okay. And it's all yours, Mr. Olympia. Okay. Go get him. How about a nice hand for Sam, huh? Thank you. Wow, just a spectacular trick. Here, we'll put the, uh, the robe on, get you Thank covered you. up so I don't look too much like a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> got to protect myself. I don't know about that, Reed. Come on I in and see now. You got some big biceps. Yeah, there. but I let Sam have a feel. I said, go ahead, <laughs> Sam. Why not? It's getting there. It's nice to have you on the show, and thank you very much thank for you. coming and posing thank for you. us tonight. It's a real pleasure being your guest. Let me ask you something. Can anybody look like that, or does it take a special genetic type to achieve those kinds of muscles? Well, everybody can make progress, of course, but certain people have uh, better genetic than others. Mm -hmm. And you're blessed. Obviously, with I was blessed with the great hereditary. With good genetics, yeah, really. But I say everyone could build his body from 100 pound weakling to. 225, 250, whatever you want to do with your body. So when you were a teenager, I think you were 16 when you started, right? Yes. And incidentally, was inspired by the great Arnold Schwarzenegger, whom yes. you saw on a cover one day. Right, exactly. And that did it for you, right? Exactly. It, it really did. And then you started training, and then you came to America? Right. And then got serious out on the coast and really got into it. Well, at first, I competed in Verona, Italy, 1974. Mm -hmm. And I saw Lou Ferrigno, I saw Bob Birdsong, Ken Waller, I was very, very inspired. The standard was very, very high. And uh, I just started, you know, programming it in my mind. I said, well, I've got to look like these guys, you know? Sure. So I came down here and beat these guys. That's <laughs> right, you did. You uh, did. I did very well. They're really, really good bodybuilders. I had them on my bedroom wall and stuff. So yeah. Competition is very, very through. strong. Now, I noticed you're a little bit out of breath. People don't well, realize how tough that posing is. Pumping up a little bit before. And Pumped up that. a little bit before, yeah. but then just to hold those poses takes yeah. a lot of stamina as well. It really is. He's got a new book out. It's called Mr. Olympia's Muscle Mag Ma uh, Mastery. And frankly, it is written on four levels. The beginning level, of course, going right up to the advanced bodybuilder. Yeah. And you don't get a, a body like that by just following, <laughs> you know, the, the original eight exercises that you do with a barbell. I mean, right. there are a lot of advanced tricks. Well, there's a lot of good stuff in the book. And, you know, after all the experience I have, mm -hmm. you know, over 12 years, so there's a lot of good information. We're telling people that the sport of bodybuilding is like 70% nutrition, about 30% training. Mm -hmm. So you are what you eat. So when you're training with weight, we tell you to eat more carbohydrate because when you're using high intensity, when you're training with high intensity, your body is using more carbohydrate for energy. Sure. Burning more fuel. Exactly. So while if you're doing aerobics, your body is using more fat for energy. Now, is it you true, Sam, that you do use some aerobics in your workout? Always. Do you? Yeah, I mean, you just don't want to look good on the house. You've got to be feel cardiovascular. You have to feel good. But, but I mean, uh, don't the uh, aerobics kind of tear down what the yeah. heavy uh, weights have built up? No, a lot of people say that, but uh, that's not true, because uh, what happens if your heart rate is not going beyond a certain level? See, for me, I went to, a, uh, I analyzed all that stuff. 
went to a body uh, accounting. Mm -hmm. And uh, if your heart rate is beating way too fast, then the activity becomes too intense. Then you are burning more uh, glycogen for energy. Glycogen is the, is the carbohydrate that's stored inside the muscle, uh -huh. right? So then you burn more of your reserve instead of the fat. So a good way to know that, that you're doing that, if you jog or you're riding stationary bicycle, you should be able to carry on a conversation. And that tells you that you're not over, it's not as intense. Mm -hmm. And this way you're burning more fat. I see. And less you got yourself sugar. down to 2% fat before a contest. Yes, I measured 1%. that in 1982. Mm -hmm. It was about a little bit, slightly over two, I can see that. Before you go into a competition, Sam, yes. I mean, you really trim down. Yeah. You stop eating Hagen does. Hagen does. Robin. That goes without saying, but I mean, you really also cut out uh, a lot of... Uh, well, I cut down my caloric intake. Mm -hmm. You know, that, let's say I start... Yes, well, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger wrote a very nice book. I want to compete with him, you know, but he went into... Conan and uh, that's right, but you don't have to worry about him, Sam. You've got me on your mind right now. I'm just gonna walk yeah. up a little bit with these stories. Don't okay? worry about you. So should I take this off? You can take it off if you like. I'm just gonna do this a little bit, <laughs> and then we'll have the pose down that could end your career, Olympia. Jesus Christ, I didn't yeah. know you were that strong. Absolutely, Sam. Okay, you ever see anything can like you this in your life? Awesome. Now, I'm just gonna get these thighs set it's up. It's not fair, you know. Look at these half thighs I'm doing this. with 60 pounds here. Dynamite, Sam. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's let's do side lateral. Okay. That's one, two, three. This is for the for the for the side part of the belt. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. You got forty pounds. I've got thirty pounds. Okay. Now let's say this is for the side belt. Yeah. Now when we do this movement right here, it would work the rear belt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have taken those ten pounders. Right. <laughs> okay. And now this is what works the front belt toy. Oh, look at that. Okay. Forty pounds. Dynamite. Well, I mean, the heck, 12 years, huh? 12 years you've been working at it. But I could, you know, you could do it in two years, really. Okay, you ready? That's why in our book we're going to show you the shortcut how to make it in shorter. Yeah, yeah, sure, Sam, right. <laughs> okay, are you Here ready? Here we go, baby. <laughs> you think I have a chance, guy? What do you think? Set a camera, Frank. Let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. How about a back shot? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> now what do you want? Back, double back. Now what? Now side chest. <laughs> You're great, man. You're now how about this one? <laughs> okay. How do you like my tan? Get in there, huh? Stand there, but out, everybody. Mr. Olympia. Thank you, Sammy, Thank very, you, very much. Judy Carn coming up next in just a moment. He's getting there. Look out, Sammy.